I hope you find the courage to gently start over every single day because we think of our lives like these experiences that fold in succession of one another that who we were in the past must play a role in who we will be in the future that we can never really let go that we are never really separate from where we've been or what we've done that our lives are most defined not by what we choose but by what we've chosen and the truth is that every day is a new day and every day is a new start and we just don't realize it while it's happening. The work of being human is not that we build ourselves up to this point at which we're absolutely perfect or that we arrive to this place where we finally feel like we've made amends for every misstep we might have taken and we might have finally proven every haunting voice from the past wrong because we never really stop to think that maybe those voices are really just our own. And maybe our lives aren't going to be defined by the person we used to be, but how willing we are to start over again and again and again. Sometimes starting over is an abrupt ending. It's rising one morning, and by the time the sun is setting, you clearly see that you must leave. You must uproot. And these changes, these realizations, they happen slowly until they hit a tipping point. And then it hits you all at once. You know what's wrong. And something massive has to change to make it right. You must change who you are or what you do. Or where you live because your existing life has so little of your true soul within it it's leaving you as a shell of the person you intended to be and and this is the kind of starting over that happens just a few times in our lives and then there's the kind of starting over where we begin to understand that all the successes we might crave in love or in work or in ourselves they're really just a matter of trying new things until we get it right. Because for every one thing that works, there will be a thousand that didn't. You just don't hear people tell stories about those things. And this is the kind of starting over that leaves you scrapping the manuscript three times, restarting the business, renovating, then tweaking, then coming up with a more aligned and supportive vision, and then reinventing, and then re-implementing, and then seeing what sticks. This is the kind of starting over that's all about adaptation. You know that you have a good thing, or a passion, or a truth, or a vision. And all you're really trying to find is the right way to make it real in the world. Because no path is a straight line. And if we want to keep walking it, we have to learn to bend lest we break. So this is the kind of starting over that happens more frequently. Maybe in your life, it's something you face every day, maybe monthly or each year. Either way, it's the kind of adjustment that kind of follows us always. It's required in almost everything we do. But then there's the kind of starting over that's the most important of all. And that's the kind you do each day. That's the kind where the changes are really so subtle you might not even notice them at all. But these are the shifts that actually change your life. This is the way you slowly learn over time how to embrace the full truth of who you are in micro moments. This is how you slowly learn over time to show up to your life every day in such a way that it feels like yours. That every morning that you wake up you savor the sunrise or your morning coffee and you sit in silence and you are grateful that you have been given the life you have and another day to live it. This is the way that you begin to speak and respond to the people you love as the person you hope to be. It's a way that you choose to show up one moment at a time. And this is the kind of starting over that I call a micro shift. 
Because one big motion does not make for a breakthrough. A breakthrough is a tipping point, and a tipping point is made from micro shifts. Because if you are not willing to start over in the smallest moments of your life, and in often the gentlest and sometimes most unassuming of ways, when your flight lands in the new city, your habits will come with you. And every new blueprint you draw will have within it elements of the same old design. And every road will inevitably lead to the same destination because you have not really changed the way you travel or to wear. And so I hope that you learn to gently start over in small moments that one day become big ones. Because this is the kind of starting over you have to do constantly if you really want to live your life to the fullest. And when I say the fullest, I don't mean capitalizing on every single aspect of your existence until it's been perfected and it's the ultimate expression of itself possible. That's not really what I'm trying to describe at all. When I say live your life to the fullest, what I mean is that most people are really hardly living at all. They're stuck because the day they realized they needed to leave, they stayed. And the moment they realized the project wasn't working, they didn't adapt. And as they woke up today and sat with another hour of emptiness, they did not do one new thing to insert even a few seconds of change within their lives. Because in that moment, tolerating any more discomfort seemed so unbearable. But it's also the way out. So I hope that you learn how to start over so that if you are ever sitting there listening to this, realizing that I am describing your story, you will know that you are not hopeless and the story is not over. And you are not the sum of the people you used to be and you are not the sum of the way other people see you and you are not the sum of just what you think you are capable of right now because you are so much more. I hope that you do not spend your life waiting for a huge wave of motivation I hope you do not spend your life waiting for the perfect moment because none of those things exist. None of us wake up and feel absolutely ready and completely confident or totally sure. None of us wake up and feel completely certain that the path will keep moving forward. We just have to wake up and try. So I hope that you learn how to gently start over and I hope that the shift begins in your vision. I hope that it starts in your willingness to just imagine that something else is possible. Not even to believe that it really will be, but just the willingness to try. And then from that seed of belief, from that willingness to see your life differently, I hope you will know that it has already changed and it is already different. And from that little moment of revelation, I hope you find the simplest step forward you can and then I hope you take it. And then I hope you wake up tomorrow and you do it again. Because the thing about starting over is that it's not something we do once. It's something we have to do every single day to live the lives that we were meant to and to become the people that we really hope to be.